That is most likely one of the most tragic of the year. Great good has grown from it. And today, Toledo again honors the memory of Toledo police officer Anthony Dia, who was killed in the line of duty in July. Jen Hefner Assad from We Support Toledo Police joins us this morning with an invitation for this afternoon and an invitation to do good always. Jen, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So, of course, we know on uh, July 4th, uh, Officer Dia lost his life there uh, in the parking lot, um, near the parking lot of the Home Depot. And from that, a big memorial, we were seeing images of that here, grew in that parking lot. So tell me a little bit about what you guys have, have accomplished since this started. Well, when the tragedy happened, um, Everyone wanted to do something, including myself. And I got a hold of a very good friend of mine, Toby Carl, who owns uh, Sweet Teas Marketing. And I decided to make bands up and sell them as a fundraiser to be able to give the money back to Jamie and the boys. And everything just kind of took off from there and kept growing. And everyone started getting involved. People from all over the community kept coming in. And that memorial immediately kept growing and growing and growing and God love them Home Depot they didn't allow anyone to go near it take it down they let it keep going and then from that point there's just been event after event and fundraiser after fundraiser and it's you know all all in for a good cause going for the family. And since then, you you are putting together a permanent memorial there, right? And you're going to do an unveiling of that this afternoon, is that right? That's correct. Um, again, this is a Home Depot event. I was asked to kind of help create it and get it going so the public could be aware of it. Um, they have decided, with the help from corporate, to go ahead and place a permanent memorial there in honor of him and for the family and the community and his officers in blue to come reflect and you know be with Anthony. And that's happening today at three o'clock there. Um, everybody invited, but of course, social distancing masks will be required there if you'd like to come out and show your support for that. Uh, you guys, your group in general has been able to help others as well. Talk a little bit about that. That's correct. Um, Tony Dia and D. Lynn, um, amongst many others, but those are the probably the, the two bigger names that I can recall doing this. Um, they go through the community and they find people who are in need. There has been veterans, there have been retired police officers, um, and just people in general who are in need. And this group from the We Support Little Police page will go out of their way, will find a way to help them. They contact contractors, electricians, plumbers, roofers, whatever that needs to be done. They step up to the plate and they get it done. You know, they 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 help. It's not just supporting Toledo Police; it's supporting the community and the members in it. And maybe some things they need done around the house, or different things that can Im improve their lives, and maybe those little things making a really big impact in their lives. Correct, correct. You know, there's these are hard times that we're in as it is, and even harder with COVID. So for other people to go ahead and give their time, their money, their efforts, it's huge, you know, and, and that's what we need to do, and that's what we need to continue to keep doing. So 3 o'clock today, we'll, we'll unveil that uh, memorial there. What does this mean to you to have something permanent there? First and foremost, it would be beyond me not to thank the Home Depot, its managers, corporate, employees. They have stepped up to the plate bigger than anyone I know that they could. Um, they've gone out of their way. They've let it continue to grow. They would put up their own fencing to keep it completely enclosed and for uh, to allow people to come there at, at any hour. Um, when they approached me and said that this this was going to be their plans, that they were going to do something permanent, I was blown away. I thought, how many companies would go this far to continue to keep doing this and supporting the community, the family, and Officer Anthony Dia? I can't tell you. There's there's not enough good enough words that will explain how I feel about the Home Depot doing this. You know. A lot of people didn't know Anthony. A lot of people that have gone to the community or gone to the memorial site didn't know Anthony, didn't know the family. But this is all for us. And 
I thank Home Depot for doing this. Really something special there. Jen, thank you so much for joining us this morning for what you guys are doing to help folks out in our community. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Yep, take care.